Hello, I'm not Tony, and today I'm going to be going over Freeman Feeling Legendary Pore, Cle Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash Peel Off Gel Mask. Let's see how this goes. To apply this, you have to wash your face, which I've done ahead of time, thankfully. But I'm going to be putting it onto one of our handy dandy sponge paint brushes. You can pick those up at any local market or craft store or whatever. Alright, so we're going to apply that generously onto there. And lickety split, we'll get a good football war paint thing going on here. I think we're going to be putting a bunch of this stuff on because we should be thorough, right? Make it nice and thick and try not to get it on the face hairs because this is going to pull all right up on the nose. Huh? Put this thing on thick. And more Shazam. And we're going to get it pretty darn close to those facial hairs, though, because we're brave. Let's get some more. We're going to make this thing thick. Just like our coffee. Yeah, you thought I was gonna go somewhere dirty with this, but nope. It's dirty enough. We're mud in our face. Alright. Some of y'all might be thinking, dude, you're putting that stuff on so much. I'm like, yep. You know why? Because I've never done it before. It's an experiment. It says peel off, so we're going to make sure this thing is hefty. Make John Cena proud. Oh, that's good in my eyebrows. It is nice and cool, though, so that's cool. All right, big old glob. So we got that all up in our hair now. Even though it said specifically to stay away from the hairline, who cares? We're gonna have some fun with this thing. And yes, gentlemen, my girlfriend is going to laugh her butt off at me. That's okay, because I love her. All right, get some extra thickness going on here round the nose all right I think let's add a little bit more on the forehead area because we want it thick all right let's claim that that's okay all right now According to the instructions, because I actually kind of read them, it says we got to wait this, we got to wait this out for five to ten minutes until it's dry, and then starting at the outer edges, we're going to gently peel the mask off and rinse with warm water. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right. Well, it's been ten minutes, and judging by the looks of things, I'm going to need a few more before this is ready to be peeled off. So, bear with me. I'm going to clean my guns. We'll be right back. Am I dry yet? All right. Well, it's officially been 30 minutes. And maybe that's because we decided to go extra thick on our layers here but now i have a nice looking sort of a nice high gloss black going across all the different parts of my face here and we gotta peel it off the question is how the heck am i gonna get it off so i had an idea 
we're going to break out our handy dandy pocket knife. Now, probably not the smartest idea, but we're going to do it anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to the edge here. See if we can get something to peel up. And look at that. Right there. We're able to get it right up under it. Got that edge lifted. Let's get under some thicker parts, so. Alright. Oh, there we go. Some thicker areas there. Now, don't do this at home, kids. I am a professional. So, we got that there. Put our handy dandy Smith & Wesson pocket knife on the counter and we'll do this by hand now. Alright, got a good edge going and we'll start removing that. I don't know if you guys can hear this but oh it's weird. Forehead first. Alright, oh we're losing it. Oh no. My face is hanging off. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more. Get it, get it. Oh no, the forehead isn't gonna make it, guys. That's okay. Keep it going. Oh, weird. And the nose. There we go. Let's see, is it peeling any good stuff up out of there? But there's the nose. feeling and it does pull a bit on the facial hairs but it's really not too bad Let's see if we can get all this side up oh we're losing it oh darn it I was hoping to get it all in one go but here's the bottom half there let's see if we can get a good spot up underneath here. So let's take our everyday carry pocket knife out. I recommend everybody has a pocket knife. Oh, maybe I just have too many wrinkles in my forehead. I'm an old man, or I didn't let it dry enough. One thing to learn. Oh, it needs, paint needs to dry before it can come off. There we go. A little bit there. And it looks like I might have just not let it dry quite right. Let's see if we can do the old rub off. <sighs> no. Nope. No bueno. I guess we will just have to remove this section with the warm water like it tells us to. Back in a sec. Alrighty. And I was able to get the rest of it off. Some of it was kind of sticking up there on the forehead, but I just rinsed off that same old paintbrush and it came off like a dream. So, here's a quick close up of the results. Sorry you have to see my ugly mug. But, that is the Freeman Feeling Legendary Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash Peel Off Face Mask. Huh. Shorten your name, guys. Now, what we learned from this, that this stuff works okay. It tightens up, it pulls everything off real good, but maybe don't go quite as thick if you want it to be done faster, because that took at least 30 minutes and I still needed more time for the forehead. All right, guys, remember, I'm not Tony. Have a good day.